Haddock is a type of fish commonly found in the North Atlantic Ocean and is particularly abundant in the waters of the North Atlantic, including the North Sea and the Icelandic coast. Appearance Haddock have a slender, elongated body shape with a dark gray or blackish back and a silvery white underside. They are distinguished by a distinctive dark, thumbprint, or blotch, known as the, devil's thumbprint, located on each side of their body, just above the pectoral fin. Size. Adult haddock typically reach a length of about 30 to 75 centimeters, 12 to 30 inches, although they can grow larger. The maximum reported length is about 1.1 meters, 44 inches, but this is exceptional. Lateral line. The lateral line of a haddock, a sensory organ that detects movements and vibrations in the water, runs straight along its body, contrasting with the lateral line of cod, which curves down around the pectoral fins. Habitat Haddock are found in the North Atlantic Ocean, ranging from the coast of Virginia in the United States to Greenland, extending east to Iceland and the northern parts of the British Isles, and into the Barents Sea. They prefer cold, deep waters, typically from 40 to 300 meters, 130 to 980 feet, deep, over substrates such as mud, sand, or gravel. Haddock, Melanogramma sigilfinus, primarily feeds on the ocean floor, consuming a diet that consists of small invertebrates and fish. Small invertebrates, this includes a variety of sea creatures such as crustaceans, like small crabs and shrimp, echinoderms, such as sea urchins and starfish. Small fish, as they grow, Haddock may consume smaller fish species, including juvenile fish of their own species or other ground fish. Haddock is popular in cuisines around the world and can be prepared in various ways, including baking, grilling, smoking, or frying. Haddock is also a good source of protein and contains essential nutrients such as vitamins B6 and B12, as well as minerals like phosphorus and selenium. Haddock is a nutritious fish, providing several important nutrients while being relatively low in calories and fat. Here's a general overview of the nutrition profile of haddock per 100 grams of cooked fish. Calories, approximately 88 calories. Protein, around 18 grams. Fat, roughly 0.7 grams. Carbohydrates, negligible, less than 1 gram. Cholesterol, approximately 54 milligrams. Omega-3 fatty acids. Haddock is a good source of omega-3 fatty acids, which are beneficial for heart health and brain function. Vitamins. Haddock contains various vitamins, including vitamin B12, vitamin B6, niacin, vitamin B3, and vitamin D. Minerals. Haddock provides essential minerals such as phosphorus, selenium, magnesium, and potassium. Some of the popular dishes made with haddock. Fish and chips. Haddock is a classic choice for this British dish, where the fish is battered and deep-fried until golden brown, served with thick-cut potato fries. Seafood Chowder Haddock is often included in creamy seafood chowders, adding its delicate flavor and firm texture to the dish along with other seafood like shrimp, clams, and sometimes salmon. Smoked Haddock Haddock can be smoked to enhance its flavor and preserve it. Commercial Importance Haddock is a highly valued food fish, caught commercially using trawls and longlines. It is popular in Western cuisines, particularly for its mild flavor and firm white flesh, making it suitable for a wide range of dishes, including the classic British fish and chips. Overfishing, habitat damage, and changes in marine ecosystems can impact haddock populations, but effective management and responsible fishing practices can help ensure their long-term sustainability. North Sea Haddock Historically, haddock stocks in the North Sea have experienced periods of overfishing. However, improved management measures and conservation efforts have helped some stocks recover. The sustainability of these stocks can fluctuate with changing environmental conditions and fishing pressures. West of Scotland and Icelandic haddock, these areas have also seen efforts to manage haddock stocks sustainably. The success of these efforts varies with the effectiveness of the regulations and the adherence of the fisheries to sustainable quotas and practices. Management practices. Effective management practices are crucial for the sustainability of haddock stocks. Setting quotas based on scientific assessments of stock health. Implementing size limits to ensure fish have an opportunity to reproduce before being caught. Gear restrictions to reduce bycatch and habitat damage. Three. Fishing methods. The sustainability of haddock can also depend on the fishing methods used. Bottom trawling. 
While widely used, this method can be harmful to seabed habitats and result in significant bycatch, affecting the sustainability of haddock fisheries. Long lining and gill netting. These methods can be more selective and cause less habitat damage if managed properly, potentially offering a more sustainable option for haddock fishing. Marine Stewardship Council, MSC, haddock fisheries that meet the MSC standards for sustainability and environmental responsibility can receive certification. Consumers can look for the MSC label as a guide to making more sustainable seafood choices. Seafood Watch. Organizations like Seafood Watch provide recommendations on which fish are more sustainable choices based on ongoing assessments of fisheries. Climate Change. The impacts of climate change, including ocean warming and acidification, pose additional challenges to the sustainability of haddock and other marine species. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, share and subscribe my channel.